welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload now for today's video I have got such an exciting one because we are going to be reviewing the new iHeart Revolution and Disney collab. So if you're not kept up to date with their socials, they have been sneak peeking a Little Mermaid um, Disney Princess collab and guys, it finally launched and we've got it all here. So in this launch, they've done the Little Mermaid book, which is exactly what they did last time. This is a face and eye palette. They did the single highlighters, which if you watch my reviews on the other Disney princesses, these were not my favorite and I have since actually sold the two that I previously had. So I really hope they listen to us and improve the formula on this. And then you also get a lip gloss or is it a lip topper they call it? It, they call it a lip topper this shade is absolutely beautiful i cannot wait to show you all of this they didn't actually do lashes for this collab which i thought was a bit odd because they did lashes for the other disney princesses so i thought they'd do them for ariel as well but anyway before i forget this video is actually in collaboration with two of my friends first person is lou stevenson i've collaborated with her before a few times i will link her channel down below of course and her video will be up at some point today as well the other person is jody marie who i actually collaborated with just last week on the festival makeup look i will also link her channel down below and her video will also be up at some point today we are all on the ball we're all getting our reviews up today so make sure you go and check out their videos after you've watched this one so firstly let's dive into the single highlighter so this is what the packaging looks like for the whole collection cannot tell you how excited i was for this like the little girl and me was absolutely screaming when they sneak peeked this ariel is my favorite disney princess i always wanted to be a mermaid when i was a little girl so yeah i am in love with this collection and the packaging is just everything so this is the single highlighter and these retail for eight pounds as i said earlier if you'd seen my previous disney princess reviews these really weren't that great they were very powdery not very pigmented but we're gonna see if the formulas change so the packaging just looks like this and then it folds at the side and then opens up like this and then inside it says see the possibilities and that is what the highlighter looks like so this highlighter looks like it'd probably be better for someone with a light to medium skin tone obviously i'm very fair so we're gonna see if this works for me so it is don't get me wrong i'm literally just swirling my brush in there and it is still quite a chalky powder like what the previous ones were but let's see what it's like on the face <gasps> no way guys i think they listen to us this is 10 times better than both the cinderella and bell highlighters i mean look how reflective that is like the other ones had like no pigment to them whatsoever they were literally just like a powder whereas this yes the formula is still a little bit powdery like the other ones but look look at that and do you know what the color is actually not that bad i don't think I think you can definitely see like the tiniest cast but it's nothing like what the aristocats one was that was like a full-on gray stripe but this one to be an amazing formula not be too dark for me i'm absolutely buzzing i'm not gonna lie i'm so happy so so happy this costs eight pounds but the formula i can confirm is way better than the other ones and i'm super happy so next we have the main star of the show which is the face and eye palette so this is what the packaging looks like for the little mermaid it's of course this lilac color and yeah they absolutely ace this packaging i said it in all my other videos the whole fairy tale book look i'm just obsessed with it i don't get rid of any of the packaging on these and yeah i'm just obsessed with this i love it so much and these cost 15 pounds so they're not you know they're not the cheapest palettes for iheart revolution but you do get two so <gasps> so that wasn't a good start was it so i've just glued it back in with lash glue 
as I was saying, these palettes are £15, but you do get a side full of blushes and highlighters, and then you get one side of eyeshadows. The reason I've only put it on this cheek was because I'm going to use another highlighter to use on this side, because I want to see if the formula is different or if it's the same. Um, so this is what the Aerial palette looks like. So... Firstly, face palette side. The blushes look absolutely beautiful. That shade is going to be perfect for fair skin. This is a beautiful peachy blush and I would probably reach for that one the most. And this one is more of a deeper pink, which obviously would go great with deeper skin tones. And then you get three highlighters. This one at the top is obviously going to be perfect for fair skin. This middle one for deeper skin and this one for medium skin. So even though I'm slightly gutted, I can't use all three. I'm very happy that They've put enough in here for as many skin tones as possible they've done a light medium and a dark shade so even if you have the deepest of skin tones you can definitely still use this face palette and not feel like it's wasted because you can't use it so yeah I'm very happy with this this is the eyeshadow palette side so I do feel like there is a little bit of not a random colour story because I feel like if you read the shade names you've got Ariel which is a purple, Sebastian Red, Seaweed a Green, Flounder Yellow, obsessed with the names in this palette and I feel like they have stuck to the Little Mermaid theme which is really good however I cannot think for the life of me what type of look to do today um, so we're just going to cross that bridge when we get to it and then in the middle it says see the possibility so this is what the palette looks like we're now going to go ahead and swatch it so these are the blushes and the highlighters so you have part of your world make a splash total catch the heart of the sea under the sea and raw the wave so I'm not gonna lie blushes are absolutely beautiful I love them the highlighters look so good as well I look how reflective they look so for my highlighter on this side I'm obviously going to take the lightest one in the palette which is heart of the sea again very powdery like look at that very powdery <sighs> Damn. Guys, these highlighters are just so much better. I've even gone on and just applied a little bit more to this and look how blinding it is. So if you're worried like I was that these were going to be exactly the same as the Cinderella and Belle ones, they're not. They are so much more blinding and pigmented and this is exactly what we wanted from the original ones. So again highlighters 10 out of 10 and then for blush i'm going to take this peachy one here in the middle which is called make a splash and i'm just going to take a little bit of it again very powdery so that is the blush and the highlighter obsessed i'm i cannot tell you how happy i am like i'm so glad that the little mermaid one come through and the face products are absolutely beautiful. I feel like with blushes, you can't go too wrong. They're just blushes at the end of the day, but very pigmented. Highlighters are so good. So let's get into the eyes. So as a reminder, this is what the eyeshadows look like. And now let's get into the swatches because again, previous experience with these Disney Princess palettes is that they weren't the best formula that I've ever played with with Revolution palettes. So let's get into it. So this is the entire palette swatched. The mattes are actually really nicely pigmented. Like this red is really impressive for a drugstore palette. The best shimmer in the palette is this light blue one here because it's actually a different formula to the other shimmers. And the other shimmers, as I suspected, felt a little bit hardly pressed, which is a shame. Um, I honestly have no idea what look to do because this colour story, I'm not going to lie, as, as much as it obviously makes sense because Little Mermaid... It's just not very, like, inspirational. Like, I honestly have no idea where to start. So, let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, if my eyebrows look wet, um, it's because they are. <laughs> I literally had my mic blading topped up yesterday. So, you have to keep, like, ointment on them for, like, two weeks. So, yeah, that's why they're a little bit wet. N ignore that. Um, I've just went off camera and primed my eyes. Again, I've... 
I still can't find my Revolution Eye Base, so I feel like I'm going to have to buy another one because I literally cannot locate it anywhere. So I instead I just used my P. Louise um, Eye Base in the shade Rumor 02. Okay, guys, I'm sorry if I'm so boring, but I'm literally probably just going to do the same style of look I've been doing a lot recently, where I'm going to do one shade and then another shade and then a different shade on the bottom lash. I'm going to start off with the shade Sebastian, which is this one here. And I'm going to apply this to the front part of my lid. Okay, so that is what Sebastian looks like. And for a drugstore red, that is actually really good. It's not too pinky whatsoever. It does look like a true red. So I'm very impressed. Then on the outer portion of my lid, I'm going to take the shade Ursula, which is the dark purple in the palette. So these are the two shades on and red and purple actually go together so well, don't they? And um, that shade is really nice and pigmented. I have built it up in a few layers just to get it as deep as I'd like it to. And now we need to blend these edges out. So to blend out the red, I'm going to use the shade Mermaid, which is kind of just like a muted pink based red, which is perfect. I'm just going to use this thin um, spectrum brush. Oh, I've got blue on my fingers. Brilliant. Um, I have to be so careful because I can't really get makeup in my brows, so that's why I'm opting for a small angled brush. And then to blend out Ursula, I'm going to try and blend it out with Ariel, which is kind of a pastel purple. It literally matches the packaging perfectly, which is, makes sense. Um, it might not work fully to blend it out, but I can blend Ursula up a little bit um it is very pa uh, pastel so let's see okay so these are what both the sides are looking like i think it's a little bit messy but i can clean that up a little bit later once i've got my cut crease on so i'm gonna go ahead and take the p louise and mama mitchell acid rain paint in the shade blank canvas this is perfect for cut creases because you can get some really nice control of it because it's such a thick formula so i'm going to go ahead and do a half cut crease with this on both eyes and then i'll be right back okay so i'm back and these are my half cut creases and now we get to put one of those beautiful shimmers on my lid so i think i'm gonna go for the gold in here which is called triton and the shimmers in here do feel hardly pressed so let's see how they perform Okay, so this is Triton on the lids. Now, the pigment of the shimmer is actually really nice. However, they're just not as reflective as I would want it to be. I did, as you saw, apply some spray and it did give it a little bit more of a metallic effect. But let's be real, these are no foils, are they? And I guarantee you that light blue shimmer would be absolutely unreal on the lid. I just wish that all of the shimmers in the palette were like that because obviously where they're so hardly pressed, they do come across quite dry, which is why I went in with the spray. And yeah, they're a little bit shimmery, um, but the foils, you just can't beat them. Okay, and then to blend this gold out, I'm going to take the purple shimmer in the palette because that will blend into the outer corner. And this one is called Alana. Now that I've put that on, I'm just going to go back in and blend out this purple a little bit because I just feel like it's not as blended as I'd like it to be. There we go. So we did start to lose a little bit of the pigment there, um, but I have brought it back to life with adding more of the Ursula shade. So this is what we're looking like so far. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Seaweed. Of course, like all three of these shades here are literally aerial, like I'm obsessed. I've had absolute minimal fallout with this as well. If anything, I just had fallout from the shimmers, but I just swiped them away and it's pretty much all gone. Um, so I've just added that onto my lower lash line and now for the inner corner and brow bone highlight. So I'm going to take the lightest shimmer in the palette, which is called Dingle Hopper, which is this one here. And I don't know if this reflects anything. I think it is just like an icy shade. Okay. 
Okay guys, so this is the completed eye look. I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm just gonna put some lashes and mascara on and I'll be right back because we've got the lip topper left to test. Right guys, so I'm back and those are the eyes complete. So for my lashes, I used my Revolution and Roxy eyelashes. I absolutely love these. If you've not tried these yet, you need to. My mascara is the I Hot Revolution Chocolate Dipped. I absolutely love this mascara and it's only a fiver. So this is the completed eye look. You'll have to let me know down below what you think of the eye look and what you think of the palette. So we have one more product left to try and that is the lip topper. So this is the box that it comes in, obviously the same lilac packaging with the little mermaid on it and these cost £5 each so they're super affordable. Now I've previously loved the lip toppers in the other princess collection so I'm absolutely buzzing to try this. This is what the packaging looks like and the little mermaid one looks like it's going to have a pinky purple reflect so let's test it. I must smell it first though. Oh. Yes, it has such a beautiful, sweet scent. So I'm going to put this on my just bare lips first and see what the colour looks like. Oh my god. Okay, so it has um, purple and bluey glitteries, glitteries, glitter in it. I expected a shade like this for Ariel and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is what the shade looks like. I feel like you can see there straight away it has that metallic reflect. It is beautiful realistically i would never wear a lip gloss on its own so now that i've seen the actual true color of it which is definitely a purpley pink shimmery reflect i'm now going to go put some nude lipstick on and then the gloss on top okay so i've just put the beauty bay freckle lipstick on the one that i always use and i've just put that on top i have added a few layers and to be honest with you you can't actually see the shimmer particles in the gloss that well so I'm oh going to have lipstick in my teeth. So if you are scared about wearing this lip gloss out, I don't think you need to because I honestly cannot see the shimmers. So that makes me even more happy because then I can feel like I can wear this out and people won't see the shimmer particles on. So even though on its own, it's super pretty and I absolutely love it with a nude lipstick underneath. You cannot see the shimmer particles so it just looks like a regular gloss to me okay guys so this is my completed and finished look using the new i hot revolution and the little mermaid collection so let's run through the products quickly the highlighter absolutely stunning despite this looking like it's more for a medium skin tone me with a fair skin tone managed to use it and it was just so beautiful definitely an upgrade from the previous princess highlighters so this gets a massive thumbs up from me the face and eye palette i love that the face palette in here is super inclusive you have a light medium and dark blush you have a light medium dark highlight so i'm very happy with the face palette side the eyeshadow palette side i'm not gonna lie i love the mattes in here i think they're absolutely beautiful they are really quite pigmented even that red very much surprised me and yeah they were really nicely pigmented they are again a little bit powdery but that seems to be an ongoing theme with these princess palettes and any sort of palette in this packaging even the nightmare before christmas was the same the shimmers now it did work the gold did work on my eye but it did require a little bit of layering and also i did go in with a spray afterwards just to give it a little bit more of a shine but even then they're nowhere near as good as the foils are they really like the foils are my absolute favorite um so i kind of just wish they put foils in these palettes instead of the normal shimmers because they do just seem a little bit hardly pressed so a little bit mixed review on the eyeshadow palette but i think the colors are absolutely beautiful i'll definitely need to do another look with this i feel like i used as many shades as i possibly could today and i'm very happy with the overall eye look i think it's absolutely beautiful i love the color combination with the red and the purple and then the pop of green on the lower lash line so yeah i'm very happy with my finished eye look and lastly the lip topper i don't really need to go much into it but works absolutely fine you can definitely see that there's blue and purpley shimmer particles in it but with a new lipstick underneath you can't really see them so it does turn into more of a wearable gloss which i absolutely love 
and overall guys this has to be and not only because ariel is my favorite princess but in terms of actual quality of the products this is my favorite disney princess collection so far without foul um just comparing the formulas to previous palettes like the highlighters especially much much better quality so thank you revolution to listening to us because literally every review i watched all said the same thing the highlighters were powdery and not pigmented these highlighters were so much better and i'm super happy don't forget to go and check out jody and lucy's reviews i will leave their channels down below and their reviews will be up to date as well so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what you think of this collection and did you pick it up i would love to know and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye